friends, today we're going to learn about a more efficient way to count, and that's called skip counting. When you have a group of objects that you need to count, need to know how many there are, um, traditionally we just count them one at a time like this. One, two, three, four, five, and that works great if you have a small number. But as our numbers get bigger, we need to be able to count a little bit more efficiently and quicker. Uh, because when you have large numbers of items, it would take forever to count if you counted them one at a time. And so a more efficient way to count is to count in groups other than one at a time. And today we're going to count ten at a time. We're skip counting by ten. And so, I have um, piles of um, chips here, and I put 10 in a pile. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, each one of these little piles has 10 in it. Well, um, we could go 10, and then 11, 12, 13. We could count them one at a time, but that's not very efficient and it would take quite a long time. So a more efficient way to count is skip counting in groups of 10. Um, so I've got 10 in each of these piles, and the way that we skip count is count 10 at a time. So I want you to look at this um, 100 board. It's actually 120 board goes to 120, and you might have one of these at home that you could look at, but don't go get it now. You can just watch mine for now. So like my first group is 10. So that's where I'm at for my first group. Let me mark that for you. Okay. And then I've got 10 more here. So I'm going to jump 10 more spaces. There's 10. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Where to end up? 20. Very good. Now another 10. 10, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, do you see a pattern? Look what we've got going on here. Let me skip where it doesn't have a glare. Here we go. There's 10 in the first pile, then the second pile made 20, and then 30. And guess what the fourth pile is going to make? 40. That's right. Every time we add 10, we go down one line on the 100 board. So this 100 board is a great tool to use when skip counting. So like this one right here is 10, and then plus 10 more, that's going to equal 20 altogether, plus 10 more is going to equal 30, and then plus 10 more is going to equal, that's right, 40. We've got four groups of 10. Let me turn that down where you can see it a little bit. So this one's going to be 40. What do you think this one's going to be? That's right, 50. And then the last one is going to be 60. Now, that doesn't mean that there are 60 chips in this pile, in, in this particular pile. It means there's 60 chips all together because we have six groups of 10. One group, two group, three group, four group, five groups, and six groups of 10. So all together, that's going to be 60 chips. So you can count by tens using 60. Now, another way that we can count by tens to larger numbers is we can use these 10 sticks. Now, you've probably seen these before. They're base 10 blocks. This is one that I've drawn on. You can see that it is 10 individual blocks. So this whole stick is worth 10. It's kind of like a $10 bill. So count with me as we count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, put that right there so you can kind of see. Oh, it's glaring. After 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then what comes after 90? Look at your 10 front, your 100 board. Whoop. Layering. After 90 comes 100. It's 100 little blocks right there. Well, what if we add one more? 110. 
120, 130, 140, 150. So we have 150 little blocks on here because each stick is worth 10 little blocks. Let's count that again. You count with me. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, can you keep going? 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. They're very good. We could keep skip counting more and more and more. Skip counting is a more efficient way to count than it would have been to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. To count all of these little cubes one by one would be um, would have taken us a long time. So a more efficient way to count is skip counting by 10.